I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. Brand new triple threat match. As you can see here, we've got the LeBron 9, 10, and 11. Gonna get up close, show you all three in honor of WrestleMania weekend. Might as well do something a little differently. Triple threat match comparison video with the LeBron Elite 9, 10, and 11, all right? Let's get right into that and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Here's a look at all three of the LeBron Elite shoes. The 9, the 10, the 11. The price range went up dramatically throughout the years. I remember when these released, people were going ape shit, like, oh my God, I can't believe how much they're asking for. And then this one was even more money, and now this one's at 275 bucks. And that's a lot, 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 a lot of money right there. $275 for a pair of sneakers. I think this is the most expensive Nike basketball shoe to ever hit the market. People from my review on the shoe were either like, hell no, I'm not dropping that money, or they're like, money ain't a thing. I'm dropping that. I love these. These are fire. I'm buying them. So that's basically what the reaction was. More people saying they're going to hit the sales racks. These hit the sales racks. These hit the sales racks, but the white and black and gold colorway didn't hit the sales racks that one sold pretty well it got to the point where they basically sold out you could have gotten them if you were lucky at a few spots maybe you were able to get them for under retail but for the most part they did pretty well from my understanding from my research running around from different states and stopping by local retailers everywhere and talking to the retailers because i always do that shout out to everyone that works at retail as far as the tongues as you can see over here, you've got this kind of combat material on the tongue. And then over here, you have it also. And the logos, as you can see, have changed throughout the years. And over here, you do not have the combat material over here, but you do have it down over here. The actual laces on the nine, they gave you flat Kevlar laces and then on the 10 they gave you Kevlar rope laces and they kept it with the rope laces a thinner I guess gauge you call it of the rope laces as far as the uppers they all have a synthetic upper as you can see here on the 9 you have a synthetic hyperfuse upper you do have carbon fiber here and then you have this window here, which was a hit or a miss for some people. Some heads loved it, some hated the window right there. But the carbon fiber was a nice touch to this. This gave your foot a lot of lock in right there. That's why they had that carbon fiber with your Flywire Tech. Also, you have your air unit in the back and a zoom in the front. On the 10, they still have Flywire technology and you have your Hyperfuse also. And you see the carbon fiber they have toward the back and over here for your lock-in. It has a 360 unit. And then getting to the 11 now, the upper is all synthetic. You've got your fuse upper and you've got this kind of like armor posit material right here. You've got a drop-in full-length zoom with Lunar Lawn technology on the 11 Elite. You have your lock-in support here and here. And as you can see here, you can actually see the dynamic flywire verse on this one. You see it popping out. It's visible inside of the shoe, as you can see. And then over here, as you can see, the flywire is in the actual fuse. No carbon fiber on this shoe, like we've seen on this one right here, and on the 9. Of course, with the swooshes, the 10 was flipped around the other way versus the other ones. And I think the reason why they did that is basically like a check mark. He won his first title with these. This was kind of like a check mark, like he did it. That's just what I take it as. I may just be using my imagination like crazy right now, but that's what I take that as, like a check mark. Like he did it. Got his ring, check mark. Looking at the back of all three of the shoes, you've got your pull strap on the back here. Then you have, of course, no pull straps on the back of the others. I love having a pull strap on the back of the shoe. It's just way easier to throw on your feet. And then a quick look at all the tractions on the outsole.
drop-in zoom midsole. This one had the 360 unit, this had the air unit in the back with the zoom in the front. And there you go with a close-up look at all three of them. Let me know which one you like better. Leave your comment in the box. All right, so there you go. You got your look at all three right here. Show them up close. Unfortunately, I only have two legs, so I can't show all three on feet and do a pick one showing them all three on feet, but I will put links in the description box below to all three reviews showing them on feet so you can check them out. Let me know what you think of them. Leave your comments in the box. Let me know which one's your favorite, which one is your least favorite. We'll do a list, one, two, three, or if you don't even feel like doing a list, you just wanna state which is your favorite, go for it. Tell me which one's your favorite, the nine, the 10, or the 11. Leave your comments in the box. Check the description box below. I'll throw all my social networks in there. In the blog, thesneakeratic.com for your sneaker news. You should be going there every morning, noon, and night like clockwork. And every Friday and Saturday, you should be going there at 7.55 Eastern Standard Time to get your info before they release at 8 o'clock. Maybe able to help you out with scoring your kicks from the retail, all right? Hope everyone's doing great out there. And with that said, I'll be back really, really soon. No fear, Willie on the Kawasaki Crack your jaw like the white dude playing hockey Dell's a winner like Rocky Two arms up, champion, can't stop me Wave game, be the team, New York be the city We the best, you we pity See us shining like D.